Hey, what's going on guys? This is Travis Lima back with another session for Paid Memberships Pro. And today I'm gonna to be chatting to you a little bit about the different pricing options that you can do with Paid Memberships Pro. So lately we've been getting a couple of queries on how to set up pricing for, for membership levels and the different ways that you can set up different kind of pricing. And so we thought to make this video just to go through a few of the ways that you can uh, charge your clients or charge your members for your membership level and for your content. So I'm going to dive right in and make a once off membership. Now I'm just labeling it once off membership so we can actually see which is which on our membership pa uh, levels page. And so to do this, basically what I want to do here is I want to create a level that it will cost $99 once off and then the member will actually have a membership level or an account forever. So they won't have to pay again, they'll pay $99 once off, um, and then they will have the account forever. So to do this, all I do is I set my initial payment amount to whatever you want, and then you go ahead and save your level. Now in this next tab over here, I've got my membership levels, and I currently have had no um, membership levels saved. So if I refresh this, we've got our once off membership and that is going to cost $99 now. And if I purchase it, I'll have it forever. Now, if I go ahead and edit this membership, um, in a lot of cases you want it, um, you want your members to either renew or uh, you want the membership level to expire after some time. So if you want to set an expiration, you, sc you scroll a little bit further down the page to the membership expiration section, you select this, and then you select how many days or weeks or months or years that you want this membership to be active for. So I'm going to say, let's say this is going to expire in 30 days, and I am going to save this level. Great, now if I refresh this, now you can see this once off membership, it's gonna cost me $99 if I wanna sign up and it's gonna expire after 30 days. Great. So now what if you wanna add a new level and you want to have it on a monthly basis? So let me just go ahead and say monthly here, just so we know which one we're talking about. So for my membership level, I want to have a monthly initial payment of $10, but then I want it to recur uh, each month at $10. So what I do is I click the recurring subscription checkbox and I select my billing amount of $10 and it's going to be once a month. So after this initial payment, every month I can expect $10 to just recur at an automatic rate. Now with recurring subscriptions, we don't usually recommend that you go ahead and expire the membership and just leaving this unchecked because the whole thing is having a recurring stream of income is really good for business and the client or the member can always go ahead and cancel this should they not want to be signed up anymore. So we just encourage you to keep that recurring income coming in and if I go ahead and refresh this, so I've got my monthly level and it's gonna cost me $10 per month. Now, if you want to go and add an expiration date to it, you can. Um, let me go ahead and edit this level. And just for argument's sake, let's say I want, uh, you know, it's gonna take a little bit of admin work to set this membership up or to, you know, I might have some paperwork to do. So let's go ahead and say, I want to collect $200 on the initial payment and then I want a $10 or yeah, we'll leave it at $10 at once per month. So this is basically saying that this is going to be billed once every month and we'll go ahead and save our level. And if we go to our membership level page and we refresh this. So now you can see our initial payment is going to be $200 now and then we're going to get $10 per month thereafter. So that way, you can uh, specifically with the initial payment, you can actually go ahead and collect a different amount to your recurring 
membership. Another common way to, and it's something that we do on our own site, is we offer an annual payment or a yearly payment. So I'm just going to change this to yearly. And again, I'm just naming it yearly so we can just follow on our membership page. You can, on our membership level page, sorry. You can actually call this whatever you want. And I'm going to collect a whopping $500 and then a $150 uh, once per year. So let's go ahead and refresh this. So now we have our yearly membership level where it will be $500 up front and then $150 per year thereafter. One last thing that I want to show you today is how to set up a free membership level. So I'm going to go ahead and name my membership level free membership. And over here by the billing details, I'm going to set my initial amount to $0. I can also leave this blank, but if I do, and I go ahead and save this level. Um, just a quick note, you don't have to set up any recurring subscription if you don't want to. But if you do, you can, or if you do want to, you can set up an expiration. So a free member can have a free membership indefinitely in this case, or you can set it to expire in a certain amount of days, weeks, months, or years, whatever the case may be. But in this case, I want a free membership level to never expire and if I go ahead and save my level, I go to my levels page and I refresh and there we go. I have a free membership level that is going to be free for all members ready to go and I can sign up for that. Okay guys, thank you for watching. So that is basically a couple of ways that you can bill members and set up your membership level pricing. Um, there are a lot more in-depth or more complex ways that you can actually set up your level pricing. So if you want, you can go ahead and look at some documentation that we have, as well as check out our blog. You can search our site. And then finally, if you are a premium member, you can go ahead and open some support tickets. And chances are that we can help guide you and get you your membership billing structure uh, or your pricing structure as you, as you need it to be. Um, I'll be making some more videos on this in the next few weeks, so keep a lookout for that. And thank you very much for using our plugin and for watching. Have a great day.